Andy Gibson comes from a part of Mississippi where livestock is prime. Now he gets a look at row crops and catfish in the Delta. Wow, what a tremendous research facility, the largest in the world to study freshwater fish, catfish in particular. And uh, learning from Deborah, who's been working here 20 years, and uh, Dr. Craig Tucker. Staff at the Aquaculture Center showed Gibson and others how they care for catfish eggs until they hatch, at which time the fish are placed in ponds. This is just one of many facets of the Stoneville Research Complex that impressed Gibson. I learned this morning over 200 PhDs work right here. A lot of brain power right here in the Delta. Also participating in the tour were farmers, representatives of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Agricultural Research Service, the Mississippi State University Extension Service, and the Delta Council. Probably coming here to one place and having representatives from different facets of Delta Agriculture come and meet with him gives him a much more broader view in a shorter period of time. The tour included a visit to a soybean field where Gibson learned about pesticides and different types of soil and how they affect crops. He has some regulatory responsibility over uh, different facets such as approving different pesticides. The commissioner says his agency is monitoring progress of the farm bill that's working its way through Congress and is hopeful that Mississippi and the Delta will benefit. And also we're watching the trade situation, uh, the trade uh, debates that are going on. We don't need a trade war, but we're cautiously optimistic that uh, we'll come out ahead for at Mississippi agriculture and in particular for the Delta. At the Stoneville Research Station, Woodrow Wilkins, the Delta News.